Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth course. And in this video, we're going to go over the Adobe Prelude workflow. And the first thing we want to know about is how to ingest and organize your files. So let's open Adobe Prelude. And we will see this screen, the standard welcome screen for uh, the video products in Adobe. And we have, again, we have new project, open project, and then the help, and then exit, which will just close the entire program. So let's create a new project. And now this isn't like a premiere project in that it only holds the names of the clips that you are bringing in with this project. So um, don't think of it as um, the same type of project that a premiere Pro uh, project is. It's a it's a lot simpler. It uses a lot less space also. So let's create a new project, and it defaults to Adobe Prelude 1.0 projects, and we'll just name this uh, first project. Now, it might seem like well, nothing's happened. But what we want to do is we want to ingest files. Now, I'm going to ingest files directly off of a uh, an SD card from a video camera. And I'm also going to ingest from the, uh, the hard drive. So I'll show you both ways. Now, if, if you... There are a couple ways to ingest. You can go to File ingest which is control I just like import in Premiere you can come up here to the ingest button here or you can uh, double click here and all of these things will bring up this panel here and what this is you have this is kind of like the media browser in Premiere you will have your drives over here including your um, SD card or your CF card or your P2 card or whatever you have connected over here. And then in the middle, it will be, let me open. This card here. And you have, I have three shots on this card. And you notice that it defaulted to AVCHD. And it's just the same as the media browser in Premiere. You see, it will recognize all these different card formats. Uh, it is a little bit different than Premiere in that if you want to ingest something, you have to select the little uh, check mark box. But um, other than that, Selecting what you want, it's you just select instead of uh, doing a a marquee. You can see that that um, if you do the marquee, it won't really select them. You have to actually go in and tell it that you want to select them. Um, you can just like the media browser, you can make the thumbnails bigger or smaller. And you also have the hover scrub here, which works just like the hover scrub in the media browser. And you also have, if you click on it, you also have the, um, the scrubber bar here. But, um, it's one of those that, uh, just like the media browser, if you just hover scrub, you won't have any sound. But if you click and you use this little bar here, you can actually hear the sound that comes from the media. So if you don't need this, the sound, just, just hover scrub and it will let you see the, the full length of the video. And just like in, uh, 
Premiere in the media browser you can also you can create an in point and an out point using I and O for your in point and out point and when you ingest that into uh, Prelude it will only ingest that section as a subclip basically now after you've chosen I'm going to choose all three of these and we can also um, uh, let me make this a complete and this one is the one I want to have just part of the the video so I only select this part of this video and I'll have the entire video here and the entire video here now after you've chosen which ones you want then you're going to come over here to transfer clips to destination and it's a really bad idea unless you have really short amount of time to work directly off of the card it's one of those um, if the card fails then you're out of luck and it's just not recommended to work directly off of the card so what you want to do you want to transfer the clips to a new location preferably on your hard drive somewhere so we're going to come down here and browse for a location and we'll use our second drive and we'll create a folder ingested files and we'll select that folder and then we'll add a subfolder with today's date and time so I'm going to do this and put uh, out the window because I basically uh, shot these these um, clips out the window now you also have an option of transcoding it and transcoding means it will all, it'll change it into another format that might be um, uh, a smaller format will make it editing easier and then you can go back and and replace the clips with high higher quality clips or it could be you need to transcode it to a different format because somebody else is going to use it for some other purpose so if you click transcode you you have all these different um, formats that you can use that come from the Windows Media Encoder so if you know that you want these clips to be say uh, QuickTime and you want them to be NTSC DV 24 frames a second progressive then it will go through and as it goes through each of these files it will transcode it to that format but we're not going to transcode these but we are going to verify because we want to verify the the uh, the content bef so we know that we got a good read off of the card and if there's short clips like this we can use file content um, if you have many 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 clips and you don't have a lot of time using file size usually works but since we have some very very short clips we're going to use file content now the good thing about this is we can also add a destination so not only can we copy the files over to our hard drive but we can add a destination and we'll call this transcoded files because these ones we are going to transcode and we will transcode them we'll name this out the window and we're going to make this a quick time and we're going to do it NTSC DV now we can add another destination here if we needed to but we already have it directly copying the clips here and transcoding them down here so let's go ahead we have all three selected let's ingest them and it shouldn't take too much time it's going to open a Windows Media Encoder so it can uh, transcode the files as you see we have the the transfers up here and it's also going to 
transcode them really quick. And it shouldn't take too long at all. Now while that is doing that, let's go back to Prelude. And we have a clip here that's 19 seconds. Let's play the clip. And that's the whole clip, pretty much. So let's come back here. And you notice that for some reason the sound dropped off right there. So let's come down here to our markers. And we're going to put a comment on this marker. And let's put it, we'll end it here by hitting the O key and the comment we're going to say uh, sound drops out and you'll notice that it put it down here now that's the only comment I'm gonna put on here because we're gonna go over organizing here in the project panel because we want to make sure that we have the thing uh, organized properly. And we want to start organized and continue organized to make our workflow better. And just like the project panel, we have bins here, but we also have a new one down here, create a new rough cut. Um, what that is, is we can create a rough cut inside of um, Prelude and then send that rough cut over to Premiere automatically. And it will include all of the clips that we have, but just the sections that we want in the rough cut. And there was Adobe Media Encoder finishing. So the bins work the same as, as uh, Premiere. And we will do daytime. And we'll create another bin. And you notice that since that was selected, it put it inside. And we'll call that one nighttime. And let's pull that out. And we have this clip here. Ooh. I guess that's the... The problem with working with 1.0 software is that sometimes you have a lot of errors. Well, let's go back and open it again, and hopefully we don't have another error. Let's open the project again. So there's our nighttime. So let's drag that down and drop it into nighttime. And I know that these other two are our daytime clips. And it just didn't want to put it. There we go. So we can organize it just like we can in Premiere. With the different bins and the different... Um, uh, we can even nest the bins. and It's pretty much the same as Premiere. Right, let's go ahead and create a new rough cut. Because we want to... Um, put together a rough cut that we can then send to Premiere and then have somebody else work on it. 